What's going on guys, it's Jack here, and today I'm showing you a Lego mock taken directly out of the Lord of the Rings universe. This is Bag End, which is basically just the Hobbit hole where both Frodo and Bilbo lived in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and the Hobbit, which I guess is a trilogy in the movies, but it's of one singular book. I do want to mention that I didn't look too much at reference material here, I only looked at the official Lego set, I didn't actually look at the movies or anything where I can actually see a visual representation of Bag End, that's why this thing won't look like anything specific you've seen, but there's no doubting that this this thing looks like a hobbit hole. I mean, it's, it's a hobbit hole. Starting off, this thing is not built on any specific base plate. In fact, it looks like it was ripped out of the earth. At least that's what a lot of people say about freeform builds. And I don't really want to call it a freeform build because it's really just, it's really just a bunch of plates. Like I didn't actually spend time making sure that it looked pretty and had a bunch of snot techniques to make the terrain. It's just a bunch of plates and tiles stuck together to make a pretty interesting looking shape. To give a general overview of the layout of this build, there is a garden up top, a path that will lead you up to the top and down to the front door. There's of course, course the round door in the hobbit hole itself and just a bunch of foliage scattered around everywhere. The one thing that really stuck out to me about the Shire was just how pretty it was. I always imagined it to be a very beautiful place whenever I read the books and seeing it in the movies it was very beautiful so I tried to make it look pretty here by adding a bunch of flowers and a gorgeous looking tree. It's not actually that gorgeous, but I like to think so. And to really make you feel like you're in the countryside, I added some farming and vintage kind of aspects to this thing. You can see some carrots in a barrel, an axe to chop down a tree or whatnot. There's also some torches to light the path, and of course the fence posts that really tie in the entire build. The one thing I really don't like about this build is just how blocky it is. Unfortunately, the only green I have a lot of is sand green. And I guess that's not a bad thing, but I can't use a lot of the green slopes I have because they don't match the rest of the grass. So I had to make it look blocky here, which is fine for Lego. It's just a nitpick I have with this build. But I did try and compensate for that by adding an interior. The roof of this thing does pop off, and I guess it's not really a roof. It's just like more terrain, but it does pop off to reveal an inside. I didn't have a whole lot of space to work with here, but I decided to include the most important aspects of a hobbit's life. That is, of course, lounging on the couch and eating a lot of food. When you walk in, you can see it's pretty messy in here, actually. Actually, there's a book on the floor, a couple of letters and papers going around everywhere. There's a bookshelf on the far side, a fireplace directly in front of a chair build, which I actually like a whole lot. That is another build that's actually building upside down. There's just some more shelves going everywhere, and of course the flowers that really tie in the hominess of this thing. And that will lead you directly to the kitchen area, which is actually pretty plain. Here you can see a continuation of the mess from the living room and a table that seats six. On the table you see a lot of dishes, food, again, it's very messy in here. There's a cauldron to the side, a rat to one side, and a bunch of drawers and cabinets going along the back but that's really all there is to the inside and the outside so that will cover it for this mock if you enjoyed leave a like down below and i will be sure to link some more lord of the rings style mocks down below or medieval just anything i feel fits to this thing but as always thanks so much for watching and most importantly take care